This is the 1966 Ford Mustang. And look at the plate on this. It's so old car and it still has the original Karnataka plates. Let me show you the interior of the car. All original, completely original car. Look at the uh, steering wheel as well. And this is the honk. That's the e-brake. And that part over there dot, it's the high beam low beam flasher. That over there is the high beam low beam flasher over there. Such a cool car. All the original parts. Temperature control, radio. It has four written on it. Slowly it goes, guys. Yeah, definitely. And first time being on a passenger seat over this side. <laughs> it's really nice. So even on a modern Mustang I've been in, the dashboard is so similar. Yeah. It's the same design. With the Mustang lo logo over here. There are like only three Mustangs in Bangalore, I guess, the old I ones. I think there are six. I okay. haven't seen all six. Uh, I've seen uh, three. This is a 1966. Okay. Right here, yeah, we'll go. There's a 1969. Okay, he's my neighbor. Only. There is another blue 69. Okay, and the other ones I've heard of but never seen. Damn, the pull is so good. Have you tried like top speed on this car? No, oh, I have taken it to uh, 160. 160? 160. 170 oh. maybe. Uh, stars can take a lot. Okay. Stars can take a lot. So it's it, you, you shouldn't abuse them. Yeah. I mean, respectfully push them. Uh -huh. They respond very well. They are very reliable cars. I mean, all Mustangs have been like instant hit from the day. Yeah, I mean, you know, you, even though you can push them, you have to treat them like a cruiser. Yeah, yeah. Then it took me three years to find the parts because back then, yeah. there was no internet uh, shopping so easily at all. So yeah, yeah, very yeah. tough to get parts. So I, I'm very careful about when I take it out. Okay. I will not take it out during peak traffic. Uh -huh. I'm careful about where I take it out. I don't like to take it out during the rain. Uh -huh. Uh, but everything is, you know, vintage, so yeah. you don't want too many moving parts. I think uh, these kind of cars, before you take it out itself, you have to map out the route also. If you take map it. out the road, I check the weather also. <laughs> because there's no AC. Yeah, 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 yeah. If I'm going to my friend's place and I feel like taking it out, I'll call them. Uh -huh. If they're parking, make sure it's available when I come. Uh -huh. Yeah, you can't just park it anywhere. It has to be at least in a public yeah. view. Otherwise, it's a great car to drive. It's hmm. got a great scene. What about the fuel on the car? <laughs> Very poor mileage. I think I got a mileage of like 3 or something. But do you, do you have to like uh, fill in any particular octane? No, this one? Anything, anything is fine. It was an old school car, right? All this yeah. like petrol was not available back then. Yeah, yeah.
I think these cars nowadays they don't sell from hand to hand. Most of the time they'll go to auction itself, right? Yeah. They'll get the best price over there. They'll be sold out before they are listed. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like if you're feeling down or something though someday, you should take this for a spin. You'll feel good. If I do bang into something, yeah, nothing's happening with that road. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It is toughest car you can find on the road right now. Talking about airbags, I forgot about the seatbelt. <laughs> no seatbelt also. <laughs> 